Hey guys, let's talk today about this Wavelink Display Link Docking Station. I have my laptop connected to two external monitors, as you can see here. So basically I have HDMI cables coming from the monitor to the docking station, and then there's one single USB-C cable that connects to the laptop, okay? It's a Dell laptop running Windows 11, so it works pretty fine with Windows 10, Windows 11, and if you have a MacBook, it's all, it also works with MacBook, okay? So let me just show here that I can just move application from monitor to monitor, works pretty good. But there is something here that you need to understand. It needs to run a display link software here, or at least the drivers. You need to download the drivers, install it, then you, you have here an adapter for the this Wavelink docking station, okay? Let me just show you here what I mean by this. Uh, first, let me just show that I have the cables connected here, okay? So let me just approach here, see better. The, here on the back, I have the HDMI cables connected. You see here, uh, HDMI and HDMI, and I also have a display port available, so you can use either HDMI or display port. So number one, here number two, and I have a third one here, which is an HDMI as well. This HDMI here, 4K, this doesn't depend on the Display Link drivers, right? You can connect directly to your computer and it's going to work. As long as you have this port here, this USB-C port with the Alt mode, right? So be aware of that. If there is no Alt mode here for your computer, then it's not gonna work. In my case here, there's no alt mode. Let me just show you here, for example, if I remove the cable from here and I just place here in this other port. There we go. Let's just take a look here again. The monitor, if you see, it's no longer working because this port here depend on the, depends on the alt mode for the computer, right? Let me just bring it back here to the other port, HDMI here again. That one works with uh, the display link driver, right? So it works pretty fine. There we go. You see here that I have also a LAN port. If I want to connect to a router, for example, I can just connect here an Ethernet cable and connect to my router. And here, USB 3.0, so you can connect your device here. This is the cable that goes to the, to the computer or laptop. And here, connection to the power supply. It comes with a power supply cable, uh, power supply and cables, right? Everything that you need. Here you see Wavelink, that's the brand, and it says here Display Link Plug and Play. So you just need to go to the Display Link website and download the drivers for free, and it works pretty fine, okay? There we go. Here is the front, you see here an LED that you see that's working. Here on the top, you see the, the button, if you can turn on and off. Here, a slot for micro SD card and SD card. USB-C port, so you can just connect your device here and it can also power your device. Let's say you have an iPhone or an Android device, you can just connect here and power them on or and charge them, right? Another USB-C port here, so two of them. One can power a device, the other one is just for data. And here another USB-A port, and here you can connect a headphone, right? So super simple. I just connect everything, start start working. Let me just show you here uh, on the computer that you can just right click. Let me just approach another camera here so you see better. There we go. And here you can just click and start using it that way. Let me just get a better angle here. There we go. So I right click here and I go to the display settings. There we go. You see that I have three displays, right? So number one, two, and three. This is my laptop. And then the monitor on the left side, I can just drag and drop and put that way, for example, if I want to. But the best way for me is just have my laptop here in the center and then I put the, lap, uh, the monitors on the top. Right, and here, let's say, for example, the monitor number two, I can check the resolution down here. That is 1920 by 1200. 
that's because my monitor has this maximum resolution, right? For the number three here is the same, but if you have a 4K monitor, it's going to work, right? You see here the resolution. And finally here for monitor number one, which is the laptop itself, is 1920 by 1080. So it depends on the resolution that you have for your monitor. It's going to show up here and you can use them, all right? Super simple. And something else that you can check here, let me just show that uh, when you come here to the device manager, you're going to have this extra adapter here. Let me just approach here so you see better. There we go, display adapters. You see here that I have the Intel. That's the internal adapter here for the laptop. And then I have this USB-C 3.0 5K graphics docking station, right? So basically that's the Wavelink adapter, okay? Or docking station. So it works like this. And if you come here to the view and show hidden devices, see that I have two here, right? So basically they're working. And here I have another one that's no longer connected, right? That's another docking station. But the one for the, for the Wavelink is just right here. So now I know that I have it here that's working super good, okay? And then it just works pretty fine. See here the box uh, brings all the information that you need for this device, okay? It's a USB-C 10G triple 4K display universal docking station with 100 watts power delivered so you can't just power your laptop using the docking station you don't need the power supply anymore maximum 4k and 60 hertz display you can put on mirror or an extended mode with your laptop right windows or mac works either, uh, either way you have a, a kensington lock as well vertical stand tidy layout so it's a vertical one like a tower right here on the information you have the 4k at 60 hertz with hdmi and they have also display ports here and usb a works with 5 gigabits per second and ethernet works with 1 gigabit per second right power deliver here 100 watts and another usb c here with 10 gigabits per second and audio and mic here in the 3.5 millimeter connection, okay? Super simple, it comes with a user guide here as well with all the instructions, super good. You see here how to connect to the displays and how to use with Mac OS, for example, right? You just come here and you enable and you see the monitors working, okay? I have another video here in the channel showing also how it works with this macbook right so super super good there we go super easy to use back here to the other camera you see that's working pretty fine here and i can just use it right so i will leave the link here in the description for this device that's the wavelink display link docking station you can get yours on amazon and play along with this nice device okay i hope you like this video please subscribe to this channel Leave your thumbs up in your comments and I see you in the next one.